Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up a blog from scratch. So this video is for beginners who would love to start a blog or website, but do not have one already. I'm going to try and keep this video as short and concise as possible while still showing you all the tips and steps you need to know to set up a blog for the first time. As I actually just set up a blog for this new YouTube channel this week, I'm going to show you all the steps I took in setting up the blog, picking a domain name, hosting, customizing the theme and getting it set up ready to publish. So you guys ready to learn? Let's go. Okay guys, the number one thing you need to do is to pick a blog name. Now when picking the blog name, the only real tip I'm going to give you is to pick a name that's going to last through the years. So don't pick a name like things I'm going to do before I'm 30 or Janet living in Korea. Because once I leave Korea, that blog isn't going to be of any use or once I turn 30, that blog is going to look a little bit silly. So think really hard about your blog name and once you have one picked, you are ready to start setting up your blog. The next thing you need to do is web hosting. So web hosting, it's pretty simple. Now, while you can set up a blog for free on wordpress.com, where it's hosted on wordpress.com, I don't really recommend this and most people don't recommend this because if you ever want to monetize your blog, you won't be able to if you're on wordpress.com. So the best thing is to be on wordpress.org. So to do that, you should go to Bluehost, which is a very simple, easy web hosting server. Go to Google, search for Bluehost, go to the website and then pick the hosting package that you would like. For my new blog, I chose Bluehost as it's really good for beginners and it's super cheap as well. Now, the one thing to remember with Bluehost, uh, the one thing I will point out is that they always try and sell you a 36 month package, which I definitely don't think you need. Like you don't even know where you're gonna be in three years. You might not even wanna be blogging in three years. So I always select the 12 month package and then you can always extend after a year or if your blog goes really big and it's super successful, then you might wanna to move to a different blog host that's more expensive, but better use for more successful and larger blogs. But Bluehost is really good for starters if you don't have too much traffic, and it's also super cheap to start with. At the beginning of this process, you will also be asked to pick your domain name. This is free with Bluehost. If you already bought a domain name, then you can enter it on the right-hand side. If you don't own one yet, type in the URL you desire on the left side, and Bluehost will let you know if it's available or not. You'll now need to fill in all your basic details, such as your name, your address, and your payment details, before picking what package you would like. Be sure to check all the extras Bluehost automatically checks, as I personally don't believe you need all of them. And they also seem to recheck the 36 month hosting package, even when you've picked the 12 month package. So do go back and recheck that and make sure you pick the package that suits you best and suits your budget. Next up, you're going to need to pick a theme. Once you've filled in your details and made the payment, you will be brought to the Bluehost dashboard. You can either pick a free theme here, which is fine to start with, but not great, or browse themes on other sites and pick one you love. I personally love PipDig themes, and I now use them on all three of my blogs, my two main travel blogs and this new social media marketing blog. For this new blog, I chose the PipDig theme Adventure, which set me back $69. Once you pay, you will get an email giving you instructions on how to set up your new theme. Within your Bluehost dashboard, click WordPress and it brings you to your new WordPress dashboard. It usually takes 24 hours for the basics to be set up and for your website URL to appear properly within the new WordPress dashboard. So next you're gonna to wanna to customize your site. So you're gonna click appearance, then themes, then add new and upload the zip file you were sent in an email from PipDig. Once it's uploaded, click activate and now you can play around with your new theme. You can also pick other themes, of course, and customize them as you please. Once your theme is installed and activated, click Appearance, then Customize. Regardless of what theme you choose, this is where you can customize all the settings on your new blog. Start by uploading a header image. I made mine using Canva, which is free to use and is amazing for graphics. Adding a tagline and then playing around with the layout options. You can have your full blog post displayed on your homepage, but I prefer to do a grid layout as it looks neater and more professional. Now is a good time to add social icons so when people land on your blog, they can also check out your social media page such as your Instagram and your Facebook. With PipDig, you can add a fun Instagram carousel to the top and bottom of your site, which I think makes it look much more visually appealing. As you can see, there's lots of other settings you can play around with over time. To add in your social media links, you will need to go to PipDig, then social links, then paste in the links to all your social media channels that you have set up. 
The basics of your site are now done. You can now start writing blog posts or adding an about me page and a media page should you want to give people the option to contact you or work with you. And that's it. Those are the simple steps to setting up a new blog. If you guys have any questions about this, do be sure to leave them in a comment below. And if you want to see more videos like this on blogging, growing your social media and making some money along the way, do be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and let's grow our social media together.